How's it going, YouTube? Atsa here, and welcome back. So, it finally came, the uh, Stoneheart, Coalheart from the Predator Concrete Jungle. As you can see, here we have it. It's a big box, so I'm excited to do this unboxing, and hopefully the figure lives up to the hype. Ultimately, you be the judge. Let me know if you think it's worth it or not, but we'll see. But without further ado, everybody, let's check it out. All right, guys. But yeah, it actually arrived pretty quick. Um, I think in total from the shipping announcement uh, till arrival, it was only like five days for me. So yeah, pretty quick. And again, as I said, I got it from the Big Bad Toy Store. Check them out. Pretty good. They have a flat rate shipping, so four bucks so pretty good and whoa well, here we go predator concrete jungle deluxe stone heart i keep i keep getting it mixed up stone heart cold cold heart stone rock <laughs> stone heart big box again the deluxe so you got the side view the city is your hunting ground here you could pause the video here if you want to read that What's it say? Combat ready, destroy Scarface, Borgia Industries latest creation, and he's got LED lights, blades, interchangeable head and hands, and then again, all that. There you got the bottom. Tells you how to, you know, put the battery in, all that, turn them on and off, replace, and the top right here. Man, that's actually a really nice cover. I'm not gonna lie. Here we have our side view. So you get a look at it. And here we have, oh, I think something's loose in there. Oh, one of the blades. Oh yeah, I see it's by the leg. <laughs> Got these other weapons here. His hands on, he looks pretty awesome. Man, yeah. The packaging's pretty cool. It's got the health system from the game, Concrete Jungle. Yeah, just pretty cool stuff. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I just can't tell you guys enough. The box is huge. Like, the sticker <laughs> for reference. Like, it's a, again, he's a big boy. But we're here to see the figure. So let's take him out the box. All right. So we got him out of the packaging. And yeah, just Stoneheart is a beast. Like, just. Again, he's of the same sculpt as that Ultimate Predator from the, based off the 2018 movie, right? There's like the two versions of it. And there you can see the articulation. The back comes with these two like turbine things. Really cool look, honestly. Like, you know, just makes him look crazy. So this is where our battery housing unit. And there you have the three batteries, the on and off switch um we'll get back to that <laughs> and there's uh yeah so the cover is like this those four little peg holes boom so be careful with it because it is not loose like if it's snug like like i can hold it upside down it won't fall out so that they actually got really well and yeah just to lift it i usually go back here um you know i don't got nails but just back here boom it lifts fine and it holds really well, so that's a plus. But yeah, his articulation. I mean, your leg, you know, got your... You got the double joint right there. Feet. They do... Yeah, you can 360 with them. Although mine are a little stiff. Do a little side-to-side -side action. No toe joint. Got his shin pads here. Yeah, and then you can make him do some... He is a little stiff, but that's understandable. And plus, he's got this kind of like, yeah, as you can see there. So, yeah, but he's got some decent leg range there. And then his hands, so his arms are limited by these, but it is a nice thick rubber, which goes into there. And, yeah, like he can still bend right there. That actually looks really well. And it doesn't, like, you can see it doesn't really, um, 
they don't collide, which is good. So over time, this won't wear wear out by movement. The head is on a swivel. Again, these are in the way. I guess he could do, th yeah, he can do 360. Hand spins. Yeah, pretty cool figure though. Just got his nasty face right there. And I do believe these come off. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Trying, yes, yes, they do. Oh, okay, okay, nice. So if you want that, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's some nightmare fuel right there. And then now that makes sense because I was looking at these here, like I was like, what are these? Um, these, right? I thought they were some type of weapon, but now that actually makes a lot of sense that these are his uh open mandibles oh that's yeah this is definitely the look to go folks Oop. let me get that we're live baby and let's we'll see boom yeah that's definitely the look to go for oh yeah that looks a lot better and then you got what essentially your closed fist yep with the spikes right there really nice stuff and then you have these blades here. So if I can get one of these out. Let's see. There we go. They go into the arms. It was like on the side. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So right there. This gap right there. They go in right there. Boom. Oh, he's looking lethal. Oh, okay. And then the other one is down there. So it's two on each. So yeah, you could say uh, accessory-wise, he isn't the craziest. Oh, man, that is sick. But he's definitely a display piece. I mean, he's a monster of a figure, literally. <laughs> uh, let me see. There we go. Get these in. But we're going to get the standing shots. And as I said, I will. I do have Scarface, so... We'll get him up here and put him side by side. But man, awesome figure. And uh, yeah, guys, let's check him out standing up. And yeah, I know. It's <laughs> crazy. But yeah, we got Stoneheart here. So I guess I should point out everyone's like, why haven't you lit him up? Because again, you put it in here and then you have three batteries. All the positive sides go down towards the spring and of course you have the little top piece that's all the negative faces but here's the thing when i turned it on only one lights up so i was fidgeting with this um like bef obviously before like opening it up and everything so all are supposed to light up and i know the concern is oh do you just have a bad like worst case scenario it's like a fried system right so only that one lights up. No, I believe it's the batteries because I moved them around. Um, uh, how do you say it? I I fidgeted with them and I did get all four to light up. I do believe it's just the batteries. So be warned, um, you know, before you go refunding, just mess around a bit. Um, uh, yeah, but all four do light up. I off camera, I was able to do that. I do believe these are supposed to light up as well right here. So, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I can't, you know, I don't have the batteries to get the proper what it will look like. But it does light up. I do know it works on mine. Probably just need replacement batteries, which, of course, a quick stop at any Walmart can fix that. So, yeah, but a little slightly darker. Let's turn it on again just so you can give you an idea you can probably imagine it but yeah it looks pretty cool it does light up fairly like i can shine blue you know like it does yeah it does light up pretty strongly so it is pretty cool unfortunate but yeah it's um i strongly believe it's just the battery again batteries again i've been fidgeting with it and I, there are times where all four of them do light up. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of 
getting proper batteries, figuring out which one's like a dead one. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but what are we going to do? But, I mean, what is there to say? Stoneheart's a beast of a figure. Really great design. I like it. It's different, right? No dreadlocks because he's been experimented on. And as promised, sorry, yeah, I know. <laughs> he is a big guy, so he's got a lot going on. So, so you got to make sure he's properly balanced. And, yeah, he's at a 12-inch scale. And here we have Scarface and... Oh! A T pose, <laughs> your default character, but as you can see, the height difference like the scar here goes up to his like chest, so he's still got over like a head and a bit more of height to him. So, they'll actually, oh my god, <laughs> from the back, it's even like, but yeah, obviously, Stoneheart, he's a beast, part of the same clan, the Dark Blades. <laughs> And yeah, just unfortunate. He Scar has to kill his brother in arms, but still really cool to see. So NECA, really good job on you know these concrete jungle based off the video game. Would love to see more. Um, so please do. <laughs> I have them all so far, and probably gonna go for the full line. But yeah, guys, let's get to the end recap. But yeah, guys, sick figure. I know, just, I'm honestly very glad with it. Yes, it is unfortunate about the battery and the lights, but rest assured, um, off camera, I know that the other ports, right, all the other things that are supposed to light up, they do. It's probably just the batteries, which I get it, you know. It happens, so get some replacements, figure that out, but very nice figure. Very nice box art, too, I mean, like, that's just sick. Um, yeah, I don't know, 20th Century Fox. I guess Disney now, right? You own them. You know, remake Predator Concrete Jungle. Make a sequel. Give us some more single-player Predator games, you know? But yeah, again, you guys be the judge. What do you think? So this retail, uh, Stoneheart here retails for $62.99. It is pricier, but it is a deluxe figure. As you saw, uh, compared to Scarface, he's way bigger. So, you know, you're getting that. And he lights up, too. So, he's got his own gimmicks with him. Um, if you collect NECA, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, if you don't, I don't know. I get it. 60 can be a lot for a figure. I totally get that. Um, you know, of course, you do what you want with your money, ultimately. But, uh, for me, two thumbs up. Really sick figure. Really great display piece, and yeah, please bring more. I'd love to see more, um, like, Xenos, or I don't know. I guess they could do the final boss, who's, like, the human-predator hybrid. Yeah, it gets crazy. That'd be cool. Um, really like this line, and yeah, guys, um, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I make new ones every Tuesday and Saturday, so please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All that good jazz. Um, and thank you. You know, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Oxy. Take care.